Hello guys, in this video, I will show you how to perform the multiple creation uh, using this PSPP. Okay, by using the previous video uh, data, which is you are going to study the relationship between this uh, salary income uh, based on the working experience and favorite drinks. So we have uh, three variables here, salary as your uh, dependent variables and your favorite drinks and working experience as your independent variables okay so go to this analyze the equations linear okay from here what is your dependent variables your money salary what is your independent variables so in this case you just want to study whether this working experience will affect uh, this salary or not so you just uh, Okay, insert this working experience into this independent uh, box. Click statistic. Okay, take coefficients R ANOVA. Click continue. Click OK. Okay, look at this result. Uh, in this multiple locations, there are three important uh, results that you can analyze. The first one is the R value. Okay, the R value is the uh, coefficient of correlations. It tells you uh, what is the relationship. As I mentioned to you just now, look at this figure. If near to 1, then you can say that this Y is highly dependent to X. Okay, so this is near to 1. So we can say that this uh, salary is highly dependent to this working experience. Okay, the second important uh, information here is the adjusted R square. It explains to you how well this X variable explains the variance of Y. Okay, or uh, we can say that uh, how significant, how significant of this X variable in this regression model. Okay, uh, whether uh, this X variable is significant in predicting this y variable or not okay this will be the second important parameters all right and the third one will be this constant these equations all right so this will be the equation that for you allow you to uh, predict what will be the y value what will be the uh, income if let's say you're given a x value all right so Alright, so you look, if you look at this coefficient, it means that you have this y equal to working experience will be 795.28x then plus 1743.97. This will be your equations. So, which means that if let's say in future you would like to predict what will be your uh, salary let's say you are given a working experience at uh, three years so you just insert this three years then you can predict what will be your salary this is the third important uh, analysis that you can make here through this multiple equations the first one is the r what is the correlations the second one will be the adjusted r square okay how well this uh, variable x explain the variance of the variable y okay how significant of these variables uh, predict the value of y how important how significant the third one to get the equation so that you can predict what will be your salary given a x value all right Alright, so in the previous case, we just uh, analyzed the relationship between one independent variable to this uh, one dependent variable, which is your working experience and your uh, your salary. Now we would like to include another factor, which is the favorite drinks. We want to see what other relationship between these two independent variable towards the dependent variable. So come back to here, click analyze, degradations linear. Okay, so instead of working experience, you add another factor, independent variable here. Okay, so statistic, yes, okay. Continue, click OK. So this will be your result. 
Okay, now you want to see uh, these two variables. What are the relationship between these two variables, these two independent variables toward the salary? Again, there are three important analysis you can make. The first one R. Yes, it's highly correlated. Okay, but again, we need to uh, come back to this adjusted R square. Okay, we want to know uh, how well this independent variable explain the variance of the y. Okay, remember in the previous case when we just include one independent variable which is the uh, working experience, the adjusted R square is 0 0.81. It's 0 0.81. Now although we add another factor, it remains 0 0.81. It means that this second factor is probably not very significant in this study, not very significant in this regression model. Okay, so now we can verify. Verify through what? Through this significant value. Okay, through this significant value. Okay, look at this. Working experience. Your significant value is 0 0.000. Any value less than 0 0.05, we can conclude that these variables is significant okay it's very important in this uh, regression model okay meanwhile if the value of this significance is more than 0 0.05 then we can say that this variable is not appropriate it's not significant in this multiple regression model and we should exclude this in our analysis so as I mentioned to you earlier, okay, we want to study the relationship between working experience and favorite drink towards this uh, salary, right? It is understood that uh, this, if your working experience is uh, uh, higher, more, then the salary will be higher. Then it's actually there's no relationship. It should be by theoretically, okay, theoretical. It should be no relationship between these favorite rings and also the salary, right? So we can prove using this. <coughs> if the value is more than 0 0.05, therefore we can say that this favorite ring is not significant in this regression model. We should remove this variable in our study. Okay, so that's all for this video. Uh, I will see you in the next class.